Yes, if you saw the title and the thumbnail. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, now you know. And you guys, today we are, yes, we're going to be trying this new device here, which is called, it doesn't have it on here. I wanted to do like a pretty shot of being like the Dyson Corral because I know it's called the Corral, but like, it's not on here. But that is it right you guys, I did get this in the mail a couple days ago and I really want to review it for you, I haven't used it yet, I do, my hair is straight right now, but uh, I haven't done anything with it today, I've had my bangs pulled back while I was doing my makeup so they look all kinds of nasty right now, <laughs> so I wanted to just kind of do my hair with you guys how I would normally do it, see if there is literally any merit to this device because let me tell you right now, in the words of Kathleen Lights, expensive and it is ridiculously expensive I saved up for this so I could I, I can't just buy this you know it's not something that I can just be like oh this is coming out cool here you go I can't do that and I think a lot of people can't do that also so like I saved up for this. I really wanted to try this out and see what I could do with it because I was like enthralled. This is the longest intro ever. <laughs> I was like enthralled with all the reviews and uh, everything that I was seeing online about it. I was like, oh my goodness, it's like revolutionary. We'll see. I have no idea. This is a 100% unbiased. This is not sponsored whatsoever. If it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's like straight up not worth it because this thing is you know what? Hi! Let me actually finish the intro before I get into all that. And if you're new to this channel, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. Don't forget you click the subscribe button to become part of this weird awesome makeup family. And with that being said, let's jump on into the review. Okay, <laughs> to continue on, I didn't want to just word vomit all, all of that within the first section. Now we're actually into the review now. This device is five hundred dollars a five zero zero like five hundred dollars and that is a it is absolutely ridiculous. I've never had a Dyson product before. I didn't use the air wrap. I didn't, I've never used the vacuum. I watched so many reviews on this. I have watched so many a tutorial and I really, really wanted to give this a good college try because it is supposed to reduce heat damage by 50%. I tested it in the lab over and over again, had this device go over the same piece of hair, you know, multiple times just doing it and they were able to determine 50% less heat damage so that is perfect um, it does have these plates right here I'm sure that you have seen these reviews all around the internet please do not mind my nails I have not painted them in like a week and a half and they look atrocious and they like if you can see this here they kind of like press in like that and that's the uh, whole technology with this device in, sp in particular. It is supposed to have the hair in between the plates and they're not supposed to splay outwards. You know when you normally use a flattening iron, it, it went ding because it had it on its charger right now. Like you'll be straightening your hair and then all the hair will come out on this side and it'll get caught and stuff. That's not supposed to happen with this one and you're supposed to be able to do like curls and waves and stuff. I don't know about all that, but the curls I'll definitely do. I'll definitely try the curls. But I will tell you right now, this is so expensive and I did save up for this. I would not have been able to get this if I hadn't saved up for it. I really, really wanted to try it out. And let me be the first one to tell you right now, if it does not work splendidly, if it does not knock my socks off, because I have a perfect straightener in there. It's from Kristen S. Love it. It's so good. If this thing does not knock my socks off and like do my taxes and like everything, it's probably gonna end up going back. If I end up loving it and being obsessed with it, then I'll keep it, of course. But like, if it if it's not any better or if it's like on par with my Kristen S, that is a eighty dollar flat iron, it's probably good. it's it's. I'm not gonna keep it if I'm not obsessed with it. That's the thing because this is something that is far too expensive just to be like. Ugh. In my opinion anyways, you can do what you want if you have the money to splurge on this and if you're really looking for it, then absolutely do what you want to do. Uh, if you don't want to, you know, it's entirely up to you. It's all personal preference. That being said, I know I've talked so much, <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump on into this. I am going to go ahead and style my hair with you guys 
So what I would normally do is I would normally just section my hair. Kiva, she's biting the back of my chair. I didn't bring a brush. I normally do use heat protectant on my hair, but with this here, I am not going to just because I don't want to give the flat iron any like extra hold or something. I don't know. I don't want to give the iron anything extra. So, and it is, and it's supposed to reduce heat damage by 50%. So like, it's supposed to do that. So I'm not going to use heat protectant on it right now, but I am going to go ahead and turn it on. And when you take it off the stand, it has these little buttons right here. So you turn it on and then it'll tell you to press the little up button and I keep mine in the middle. You have 330, 365 and 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I keep mine in the middle around 365 or that's what I decided to do. If I need to, I'll go up to 410. Normally I would use an iron. Well, actually my Kristen S1 is also at like 365. So I didn't know. <laughs> I have it. Yay. That was, now it's done. Okay. So, one thing that is pretty cool is that it is cordless as you can see and it does have this little dock right here. The cord is right here and you just plug it into the butt right there and then you have it and then you have it at 360 swivel cord uh, or you just keep it plugged into the little dock over here and then you can just set it right back down when you're not using it and it'll charge. So that's a very nice. Normally what I do is I do my uh, straightening bits in sections. So I usually start from the back that is straight is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, it doesn't feel very hot. That's one thing that I'm noticing. Usually when I would straighten my hair, whenever I would finish with a section, that section would literally be like scalding hot. And if I would touch it, it would burn the crap out of my hand. So one thing that you can see here, it's not splaying out, like the hair is not splaying out. So that is pretty cool. Uh, one thing I am noticing right off the bat though, it is pulling my hair. It is 100% pulling my hair. It is not like super duper crazy smooth or anything. That is something that kind of is like, mmm. That is the first red flag that I am seeing with this. I don't know if I'm pressing down too hard because I was kind of holding the plates a bit harder. So maybe it's one of those things to where you really have to put like a little to no pressure on the plates because I was pressing down a little bit harder. So that could have been why it was pulling my hair. Yeah, even if I put like little to no pressure, it still pulls ever so slightly. It's not bad, but like for something that costs this much money, you really don't want it to pull at all. I'm trying to, I'm actually, I'm kind of nervous. I'm taking smaller sections because I don't know how much it can handle. Like I really don't. I don't know how much it can do before it, you know what, let's just take this big old section right here. Maybe that's a little too big. Let's take a bigger section. Let's see here. You know what? Yeah, let's just do the whole thing. Why not? Seems like the bigger section wasn't an issue for it at all. I need to do something about these bangs. My bangs look absolutely awful. <laughs> My hair feels very smooth. I will say that it feels pretty silky, so that's really nice. <laughs> that's better. I'm actually gonna go to a mirror really quick because everything is mirrored when I'm looking at this, so I'm afraid that I'm making them swoop this way and I don't want that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I love what it did to my bangs. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, I like it when my bangs go straight down. I like it when they have like a swoop. I think it did a really good job with my bangs. Okay, on to the next section here. I'm gonna speed through this bit um, just because watching me straighten my hair is going to literally be so boring. <laughs> so I'm gonna speed through this here. And then I'll still keep the clips in so you can see, but I'm gonna just speed through. Okay, I'm like halfway through. One thing I really want to point out, for some reason, I don't know why, but like I have this docked, okay? And I have it plugged in, and I have it docked, but 
I have been using it and I've been putting it back on the dock every single time and I feel like the battery just keeps draining. Like I don't understand why. Like it's not, like it's supposed to only last for 30 minutes. So that's, I understand that, but being cordless is really cool. Um, but for some reason I feel like it just keeps dying. Like even when I put it back on here and you know, getting my next section ready and then I take it back off and like I don't understand why it's supposed to stay on there charged but I feel like it, every time that I'm taking it off and putting it back on I feel like I'm coming back and it's like more and more dead even though it's continuously being charged it doesn't make sense to me I will say my hair is straight I mean it's doing that let me actually try to I want to do a curl I'm gonna just see really quick I mean, I don't like these kinds of curls. I like it when it's, maybe I should have started further up. Yeah, we'll do that and then take it down slower. I will say it's not pulling my hair at all when I curl it. That's a little bit better. Um, I don't know, man. It's, I don't like these kinds of curls to where it's like straight, 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 curl at the end. I don't like those kind at all. Personally, anyways. I mean, it's alright. It's very frizzy up here now. It's back out very well though, so. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so I'm back and my hair is straight. Um, I have some things that I want to say about this. Okay, I am not someone that likes to give bad reviews. I'm really not. I, I this never been something that I've liked to do. I don't like to just, you know, put, what's happening here? I don't like to just put brands on the spot and be like, give, just give it a bad review. I don't like to do that. I like to really try and I like to, I, I do have some positive things about this for sure. But like, I gotta say, I'm genuine. I'm honestly not as impressed as I thought that I was going to be with this product. I think that it has some really good features. I think that it has some really features some really features. I think that it has some features that are lacking. We'll go over the cons first and then I'll list the pros at the end because I want to leave off on a good note. Uh, so the cons, um, I still noticed that it pulled my hair um, even when I was going like barely closing the little thingies. It was still pulling my hair like bits of it like little bits would get stuck and it would be pulling from the top all the way down to the bottom on like one or two pieces of hair like the same ones and it was really uncomfortable and then at the end I think half of them just broke off or like snapped off. So it really should have been a lot better when it came to the performance like that. This thing is $500 and if it's gonna pull your hair like that I don't know, that's something that's not great for me. Um, I don't know about, my hair does feel pretty soft, that is good. I'm sure that it does live up to the expectation with 50% heat damage reduction, but the thing is is that you can't really see that. I mean, I believe on some types of hair, you definitely can. Like when you, if you have like more coily hair or something like, stuff like that. I know there's like a hair grade thing, like, B2, C3, I don't particular, I don't actually know what grade I am, but I think for people of color, they have a certain hair type, and I think that you can see hair damage, like heat damage, a lot more noticeably than let's say someone like me that has my hair type, which I don't actually know my hair type, but I think that you can see heat damage more uh, on that type of hair and I think something like this could be more beneficial to that type of hair um, because it would lessen that amount of heat damage so that is definitely a plus I think that is really good uh, for me I literally saw no difference <laughs> maybe my hair is like a little bit more shiny I do think that I think my hair is a little bit more shiny than normal but like I don't notice anything else like super fancy 
when it comes to it um, I normally don't curl my hair with the iron anyways so like this I want to try it again like I really want this to work because I've seen people do it online but they did have a shorter hair than me like a Milibu, I saw her do it and it looked beautiful, but she does have quite short hair. See, it's getting stuck and it's like pulling and I really hate that. See, this, this is stunning and I love this kind of curl. It's like my favorite. I am obsessed with this. This is beautiful right here. I love that. And if I, 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 I feel like it, I have one curl, hey. <laughs> But I feel like this could do really well. But you can get something that's like far less expensive <laughs> and get the exact same result even with a uh, straightener. So like if I wanted to use my uh, Kristen S uh, straightener, I could. I don't think I would get this kind of curl actually. And then when you brush this out, see that is beautiful and I love that. I would do my entire head. I think the next thing that I'm going to do, I think I'm going to curl my entire head. Uh, with this straightener and then just kind of see I'm not gonna do it in this video and it it straightened again pretty well I mean like it's doing what it's supposed to do. I just you, you guys again I'm not trying to give this like a really crappy review. I'm genuinely not I'm really trying to find You know where it shines and I'm trying to find where it kind of falls flat a little bit I think that the plates are pretty cool. I think that it is nice to where it doesn't like splay out the hair and it kind of keeps it in one area. Like it corrals the hair like the name suggests. It is very cool. And I think that technology is like super crazy advanced and it's really nice. I think that it does pull the hair and one thing I did notice is that I was getting kind of like some crimping action going down. Like if I didn't go down at like a 90 degree angle at you know this fast or whatever then it would actually start creasing my hair and I don't know what that's about <laughs> um, I don't like that at all is this for you I think this isn't just my personal opinion let me tell you right now the cordless feature is sick I love it I have literally never been able to I had to go to the uh, mirror a couple times because like I said before it is mirrored on my end because I'm looking at a camera and then I get really confused uh, as to what I'm doing uh, so I had to go to the mirror a couple times and I have never been able to just go whoop and just walk on in there with my straightener without having the cord or anything so that is a huge freaking plus and I could really see if you're like a hairstylist or if you do this for a living that would be like it would be fantastic because I'm sure when you're in, you know, like your uh, salon area, you have all your cords around you and you have other people around you, then people can step on your cords and then your straightener will go flying out your hand or something and it, that could be a whole situation. So I think this would be very, very beneficial for those that are in a uh, professional stylist setting. It's my own personal opinion. I was just kind of thinking about that as I was doing my hair. I think, again, it could be very useful for those of you that have um, a quite cur uh, coily hair or thinner hair, something like, stuff like that. I think that it could be quite beneficial because um, it does have that 50% uh, less heat damage uh, factor into it. So I think it has some goods and then some bads. Also the battery, I don't understand that at all. It, it's still going down and I haven't even been using it uh, now. I mean, it's on, it's on the charger, but I have no idea. All in all, you guys, I think this is pretty good. Um, for me personally, I'm gonna keep using it and try it out a bit more. I'm gonna do my hair curled with it. I'm gonna try that out. I'm also gonna put in some extensions and try to curl those and see how it does with longer hair. My hair is like, this long so it's not crazy long or anything but um, right now I don't know if I'm going to keep this I really don't and I can't honestly justify keeping this if it's not going to absolutely blow my socks off I could get the same result with my Kristen S uh, iron and then I have some you know like hair barrel thingies that you hair wands that you wrap your hair around and you can get incredible curls with that so I honestly don't 
think I'm gonna be keeping this. I am very happy with my first Dyson product. This, this is really cool. I do like it. I'm excited for what they have in the future. I really am. And maybe I'll try that. And maybe the next thing they come out with, like a hair straightener version two or something, and then it'll just blow my socks off. And I'll just be like, yep, this is the one. And I, I think that Dyson's a great brand and I think it's a really great brand to stand behind. This one just didn't do it for me personally, but I think that um, something that doesn't work for me may work for you 100%. So if you're in the market for something like this, I think do your research. And if you, you know, if you have the money for it and if you're willing to splurge on it, then absolutely, by all means, do that. <laughs> I think it's all personal preference, but yeah. You guys, that's going to be the first impression slash review for me today. I uh, hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there. Again, my name is Kinsey. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.